also talked about a competitive analysis study proposal. Um, my recommendation to the board at this point is um, to wait for a workforce study um, and see what we get back from the competitive analysis because the competitive analysis will contain some of the workforce information. I think it'll be a good benchmark for us to kind of work for it to get us into that. But just to clarify, the workforce study isn't telling us, it's not a consultant coming in and telling us what our issues are as more as it is taking a look at what our workforce is made of. So it's a bunch, it's a lot of research and a lot of data that companies are looking for when they come to look at our community. Because one of the challenges we run into is um, they're looking for those medium to large size metropolitan areas that have a larger population that they can gain the workforce from that they need. So every community has a workforce problem. We're not any different in that. And not saying it's a workforce problem, it's a workforce educational or talentful or skilled workforce. This is more of, so what does your workforce have? What's the workforce mix that I can employ and get the work? And that's the type of study, and it would be teaching us on how to pull that data um, moving forward. So um, some of the things I think that we've heard feedback from the board um, that we talk a lot about is really looking at a competitive analysis and how we rank what our incentives look like, what our land looks like, what our workforce, um, our existing industry feedback is, and our business climate. So um, my recommendation is to move forward with that study. We had two proposals that I presented with you, gave you last week. One was from um, Moyet, um, Moyet Strategic Advisors, and the other one was from Site Selection Group out of Texas. Um, Del Moyet and his team are based out of Atlanta and Chicago and Little Rock. I'm sorry, Orlando and Little Rock. And uh, they've done a lot of work around the state. They've worked with CETA um, and can do a great job and show us some implementations of incentive policies and how different ones work. Um, they came in at about $27,000. Um, site Selection Group can do the same thing for us, and they really have a more um, a cycle that they move through and really help you look at a lot of the data and a lot of the research along the way pretty much the same type of process. I think that you get more information through the site selection group um, from the way from their proposal and the information that they've given us and from the feedback that or references that I've gotten back from other communities that have used them and they're at $18,000. So um, my recommendation or staff's recommendation is that we would move forward with working with site selection group out of um, Texas based on the proposal that they've given us, the process that they have and also the cost. So, Turn it over to you. Yeah, we were presented these last month, and um, you know it's kind of a necessary tool in our in our toolbox of, of uh, you know what we present to prospects is knowing what our competition is doing and being competitive in the field. And this broad-based view, in my opinion, is very essential for us to do a better job of what we're trying to accomplish. So I'm going to uh, make a recommendation that the board follows. We're always giving me his proxy if we need it. You want to fit my answer, but just out of curiosity, I'm assuming that competitors would be defined as Georgia and Florida. Yeah, so they will actually look at communities that are very similar to us, similar to makeup, and we'll also, also look back at some of the projects that we've been working, and we can look at the competitive cities that we, we all that always up against. Yeah, that we're always up against. They'll take a look and they'll do mock interviews and a mock site selection process and give us that feedback. Yes, I will move that we follow staff's recommendation and move forward on this study with the vendor that they suggested. Site selection. Site selection. And Roy second. Well, Roy gave me his proxy if we need him. All right, I'll second. Okay. Good, thank you. <laughs> okay. All in favor. Um, and also in an effort to um, really promote South Georgia and talk about marketing South Georgia as a place to do business. Um, we had a conference call with the Georgia Department of Economic Development's executive leadership, um, an actually face-to-face -face meeting with our Lake South Georgia group to talk about what is it that we need to do here in, like, in South Georgia um, to bring more business. But what is it that they're seeing from a market level, from a project level, informa you know, information? What is it that we can help with to promote mar market our better, our market our region better? Um, and one of the topics they came up is again the perception of workforce 
of which we came back and said, well, here's our workforce study. Um, and it tends to be more from a rural perspective, not necessarily from the Valdosta Mountains perspective. So we talked through that. We had a lot of really good ideas um, coming here to our marketing trips so when they would come to South Georgia, two marketing trips, but we'll go there. And um, we've already started that process and we'll be going back up in July to talk and present our grad sites, which is Valdosta really one of the communities that presents out of the Lake Hate South Georgia group. Um, at this time, this is this I'm leery about this Locate South Georgia conference, I'll be honest with you. Locate South Georgia? The Locate South Georgia group. Okay. We get deluded, I think, because we are South Georgia. You know, if, if, if a company wants to come here, I think we delude ourselves a little bit by just attracting all these people to go along with us. You know, we have the most to offer in that group. And I do realize that there are probably some values, but I, I want us to look at that real hard in the future when it's time to rejoin or you know, decide not to rejoin. Um, you know, we're, South Georgia's been here forever. You know, if you just call them every day, you know, and remind them that we're here. I mean, you know what I'm saying. So it's not that simple, of course, but um, I just re we really need to take a hard look at that. Okay. You know? Well, we can take a hard look, and I think um, one of the things that Tom Crane, Deputy Commissioner Crane, said is along not the lines of deleting ourselves, but marketing South Georgia as a whole, as a region, but that's not going to market Valdosta Lounge County. Right. And that, you know, it's okay to have this marketing effort out here that markets South Georgia as a place to do business, but that's not going to work with the consultants and working from a smaller perspective. And that's where we have the South Georgia Alliance, which is just our four communities. It goes out, visits consultants, markets our sites, markets our data, markets our information, um, it really drills down. So, could I, um, it's a yearly renewal, and yeah. we can definitely look at that Study again. Okay. Sure, absolutely. Just Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, after